Hi, this is Isar with UX in Motion, and I'm going to show you how to curve your UI in After Effects. Okay, so um, I'm keeping it kind of quiet because I'm in an office right now. There's like people talking and stuff. I don't want to disturb them, but um, this is a really cool technique, and I just wanted to share it with you. Um, before we get started, I just want to give myself a quick shout out. I have a bunch of cool After Effects tutorials on my site, UX Emotion. I teach you how to do all kinds of things from augmented reality to micro interactions. Uh, they're really great. So um, check those out. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, to get more of these awesome tutorials that I like to produce for you. So anyway, that being said, um, here's the render that we're going to be working on. And you can see that I've taken um, like a, a project. This is from one of my uh, tutorials, one of my paid tutorials on how to do an offset and delay build. And I've just comped it into this curved screen. It's truly curved and you can do it to any curved screen. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it in After Effects. And this is what it looks like. We're going to be doing like a Bezier sort of um, effect on it. You can curve it. Um, you can do it with your file right out of the gate or you can prep it. I'm going to show you how I prepped mine um, so you can sort of get a sense of how that works and then we'll jump right in. And um, I will say, if you want to, you can download the source files, um, the After Effects project files, and the assets, and everything, and you can follow along. So there's a download link in the text, and then I'm including one. Uh, you can click it right here, right now. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so let's let's check this out. So first thing I want to show you is that um, we have this source file that I created. So I just found this image online. Um, it's just this curved watch thing. I don't know um, really what this thing is, but uh, we're going to put a different screen on it. So you can see that the screen here extends sort of from the top to the bottom here. It's not this whole black area that's kind of hardware. Um, so what I did was I just drew out a mat using the pen tool and a shape in Photoshop. And this is going to be our layer mat. And it's really only to get the rounded corners here. You can do the whole distortion curve thing without this. I just wanted to put this little detail on. And then another sort of compositing detail was to make this little reflectivity um, glow. Because you can see here that there's this glow that's actually extending over the UI. If you just comp it on flat, it's going to look weird. So if you want a little compositing thing, I just did a gradient um, of just white to white and then made uh, one in 100% and the other one 0% opacity. It's a radial gradient. I just drew it. I'm not going to show you how to build the whole thing. It's not the point of this tutorial. And then I just masked it with this red shape that I made. So that's what I'm bringing in After Effects. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to um, start with a new project file. So I'm going to hit Don't Save. And I'm just going to import this um, PSD that I made that I just showed you. So Command I open, I'm going to hit open here, and I'm going to bring it in as a composition retain layer sizes because I actually want to work with the layers. Cool. So when I double click that, I get my composition here. Fair enough. Now, here's where things get fun. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you now how to just import your own project and just curve it and drop it on and make it look cool. So Command I, and I'm going to go and just grab some some one of my previous tutorials here and I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna grab another After Effects file. You can just do that. You can just import another After Effects file straight into After Effects. So I can just drag and drop that on and I can see it's got my own timeline here. Um, I can just play that out and that's fine. We just wanna work with it as one layer. So now I, all I have to do is go to my effects and presets and go to my Bezier, um, B-E-Z, Bezier Warp I can just click and drag it on, and now I get these cool handles. So I'm going to show you how to work with this real quick, and so you can just add the curve effect um, yourself. Now the interesting thing is that when you click and drag it, it preserves the, uh, the actual handles. So I'm going to start with the corners here. It's going to look really messy at first, and you can see that this is actually quite a powerful effect. You can create all these really cool shapes. So I'm going to go full screen. If I hover with my mouse and hit tilde, it makes it go full screen, and then period on the keyboard zooms it in. And now I'm just going to go to work, kind of zeroing out a lot of these handles here. And I've got a little zoomed in real quick. And I can move this back here. And I'm just going to make sure my corner, my corners are where they want them first. And then I'll go in and start tweaking the curves to actually match the curve that I want. So that's sort of approximately where, where I want it. I've roughed it out. Now I can just use the handles and I can go through and start to line these up and 
that and you can see it's going to take you a couple minutes but you can go through and you can really finesse this I'm using my mouse pad so it kind of jumps around my apologies I know it's a little glitchy when you do it like that all right so we do this and then this guy and you got to make sure the corners are set up right where you want them and you can see that you can actually just curve your UI really really nice get these beautiful curves and by the way you could do this not just for a device I mean it may be for a project that you're working on but you might also just want to throw curved UI in like augmented reality space something like that okay so let's call this good for now and I know you can spend like hours finessing this right and just making it perfect so now that I have this I have my mat layer here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this above my current layer like this and where it says track mat I'm gonna say alpha mat and all that's doing is just adding the corners here if I hide this you can see that it's adding the corners and now if I really hide everything you can see that it's showing through a little bit and this is just requiring a little bit of uh, finesse here and that's really all it is so if I hit command shift H I can hide my hands uh, the handlebars and if you want to see them again you can click um, the effect and I'll just go in a little bit and I'll just dial this in a little bit more so we're really kind of hiding that back UI and you can see now that this mat that I made here is actually giving me these nice round corners which is what we want I'm just going to bring this down a little bit so we get this filling in exactly how we want it to. And I think that's looking pretty sharp. And like I said, you can spend a whole lot of time finessing this. And I'm going to move my layer up here. I didn't name that, but I'll call it Glow. You can just hit Return. You can see if it's really strong, you can hit Command Shift O and just knock that back to, uh, you know, like something like 30 maybe or 20. And you can see that it's just adding a very subtle kind of glow effect so that it feels real. And now if I play this back, I can see that I have, in fact, curved this UI and fully composited it on. So that's the tutorial. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I know you're not going to be able to use that all the time, but uh, if you want to, you can use it now. It's just using the Bezier curve effect. Um, don't forget to download the source file and follow along. I think you're going to uh, have fun seeing how I put it together. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial.